Der Erzähler hat auch nichts gesagt. Ah, das Telefon klingelt. <lacht> Ist das dumm. Hier steht das Telefon, was man kennt. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. <lacht> Aber das klingelt. <lacht> Hello. This is a recorded message scheduled either by you or person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you and have a pleasant day. Können wir jetzt noch mal in, den beiden, in die beiden Räume gehen? Der Erzähler ist einfach weg. New Content. Aber die Türen sind auch da. I mean. Oh, verdammt, Alter. Das ist die Linie. Oh. New Content? What does that mean? New Content. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Wir verwöhnen das Spiel. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ja. Ja? Ja. I guess. Wir sind hier rein? Nein. Warte mal, wir sind hier... Oh mein Gott, Alter. Das Spiel. Wir sind da rein? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. Okay. Also Dinge wiederholen sich komplett. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room and from then on he would never be alone ever again. Jetzt die Frage, ob New Content immer noch da ist. Okay, New Content ist da. Aber ich will noch keinen New Content. Ich glaube, auf der rechten Seite haben wir wirklich When alles. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Ja, okay. Ist okay. Ist okay, kannst du machen. Das ist der Meeting Room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked okay. upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Das war vorhin noch nicht da. Executive Bathroom. Because the boss knows that what the bot what? Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Uh. Was? Was ist das für ein Spiel? Hey, die Tür wieder zumachen stinkt. Kann ich spielen? Perfekt. Das Büro ist anders. Das Büro ist einfach anders. Das ist so traurig, Business Strategy, einfach ein Panda 
einen süßen Panda eine Knarre an den Kopf halten. Das Bild hatte ich vorhin schon beim Dings gesehen. Kann ich einen Aufzug rufen? Nach oben? I'm the, I'm the most expensive boss. Arm an der Krawatte. Schön richten. Damit das Image steht. Und die Hand auf der Welt, weil er sie kontrolliert. Okay. Ähm. Ich möchte aber auch so gerne eigentlich in, ins... Ins, ins, ins... Wir fahren. Fahren wir hoch, fahren wir runter. Was passiert, wenn wir runterfahren? So können wir hochfahren? Himmel oder Hölle? <lacht> Keine Ahnung. Wir fahren hoch. Ich bin so unentschlossen. Die hat Stanley gesagt. Sykis Asch Spitter. Das Ding wackelt einfach nur, es passiert gar nichts. Es ist verarsche. <lacht> Mann, ich bin so dumm. Hallo Mr. Boss, Sir. ich habe ein Wort mit ihm zu äh, mit ihm zu besprechen. <lacht> Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> geil, 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 geil. Richtig cool. Tja, weiß ich nicht. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Ich hab so Angst. Ich hab wirklich so Angst. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Vielleicht hätte ich mich doch für new content entscheiden sollen. <laughs> Ich 
Leute. Guckt euch das an. Ist das süß? Oder ist das süß? Wie er da einfach schläft die ganze Zeit, während ich aufnehme. <lacht> es ist so niedlich. Es ist so niedlich. Okay, weiter im Text. I mean, das zählt als New Content, oder? Walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control? I mean, basically werde ich ja schon von ihm kontrolliert, aber... Escape? I mean... Ich will wissen, was das ist. <lacht> Bitte? If light is on, call X914 immediately. Ah, dieses Game macht mich fertig. Scheiße, ich kann es nicht erkennen. Einfach nur random Zahlen, okay. The lights rose on an enormous oh, oh, wir sind unten. Okay. Screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Man weiß es nicht. Man weiß es doch nicht. Okay, okay. Gut, dass wir nicht escaped sind. Aber ich schätze mal, <lacht> wie kommt da eh wieder hin? <lacht> ah. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. Oh, 427. Da. Das sind wir. Aber der Raum ist leer. Jeder Raum ist leer. Da unten ist ein... Okay, da unten ist was Gezeichnetes. Oh, scheiße, ist das interessant. Herzchen, I guess. Da auch. 3,30 und 4,30, glaube ich, waren's. 3,30 und 4,30 einfach Memory. <lacht> 4,32. Okay. Was ist 3,32? Interessant. 104 wurde gefeuert. Wir haben einfach zum Teil auch einfach dieselben Bilder immer. Lol. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Was ist da in der Box drinne bei 259? Die leuchtet einfach grün. Und da auch. Einfach gespiegelt das Bild. Perfekt. <lacht> No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. 
And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Ich bin hart verwirrt. Da oben ist eine Tür. Ist das hier ein Riesenbildschirm? Komme ich von hier? Nee. Ich komme von da. Das Spiel ist krank. Facility Power. Was ist das für ein Game jetzt ohne Spaß? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty was it over yes he had won he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away and yet even as the immense door slowly opened Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. So sieht es aus. Ich bin viel zu klein. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. War er das? Schlage das Spiel. Okay. Was passiert? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, wenn wir the door on his left. die Maschine anschalten. Was passiert, wenn wir die Maschine anschalten? Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music.
feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. <lacht> das ist so geil gemacht, Alter. Es gibt ja auch noch Escape. Es gibt ja auch noch Escape. Oh mein Gott. Wir machen das Gerät jetzt an. Und schauen mal, was passiert, wenn wir escapen danach. Ich verstehe auch dieses Symbol nicht. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Ich finde das so nice. Du hast so viele Möglichkeiten, Wege zu gehen. Aber es gibt nur einen Weg, das Spiel wirklich zu beenden, so. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hier gibt's ja auch verschiedene Knöpfe. Eins, zwei. Drei. Gibt's vier? Ich glaube, es gibt vier nicht mal, ne? Oh, das Spiel will mich doch triggern, Alter. Es gibt einfach keine vier. <lacht> ist das gemein. Okay. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating <laughs> the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, <laughs> two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? 
Incorrect. You have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. <laughs> these numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. I thought. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it cut. Or oh, don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Es gab einen vierten Knopf. Ich weiß nicht, ob das... Ich weiß nicht, ob... Keine Ahnung. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck? Was zum Teufel?